Hi everybody, it's Dan from Ink Gaming. Welcome back to RimWorld. This is Season 1, Episode 15. And we are currently playing version Beta 18. We left our convicts asleep yet again, but we are making a lot of progress on the expansion of the base. We have two bedrooms new bedrooms that we just finished that are going to allow us to transition more towards the center of the base. We are still struggling with our fridge expansion. Um, it's not holding the temperature like we want to and I was going to try and deal with that. And we're about to start work on our dining room and our entertainment area. So let's get going on that right away. Um, see how it works out. So I really think we were going to go close this vent. Our food supply is very, very good still. It just uh, seems to be better consolidated. So we're going to do two things here. We're going to close this vent. I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct this. I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct this. In addition, we're going to... What do we got for walls? We don't have the limestone. That was limestone, so... Looks like we're going to need to build a marble wall here. Once we get that done and that done, let's go ahead and flag this. Get those three done. Then we'll build the other marble wall. We'll do. We're basically going to do just another little double fridge thing here, or air conditioner. Suki's having a meal. So, when we get this dining room up, what I'm going to show you is, um, it's some, it's a mod, some people would call it cheap, but it's a little, it's a little item that, it's just nice and convenient. It is a fridge. Um, so it's a basically a po powered small container that can carry, um, items. And so we'll put that in our dining room so people don't have to travel all the way down to the, the fridge or freezer to grab their meals. This is looking very good. We will build this right here. Thank you. That's a great job. Knowing my luck, I will have to be careful on this fridge. I'm afraid they will uh, lock themselves in, so to speak. So I will be careful when I see it starting to be built. Looks good so far. Great. And the other thing that we need to make sure of is... Roof. Looks like we're fine. Okay. Not a problem. So now with that in mind, if we bring this one down to say... Minus one. Eclipse ended! Yay! Minus four. This is it, I think, minus two. So now let's see if this can actually... It looks like, right now, it says it's indoors. It's trying to cool down. We're also going to open up this vent again. That way they can all share in the load. It's a lot of coolers. With that in mind, I think it's time that we, A, chop down this tree. And, B, we actually built our second... Um, wind turbine. We will also actually build a copy of this. Put it right here. It's going to take a lot of the components that we actually have left. Looks like this got done. So I'm either thinking rice or potatoes. We're doing pretty good on food so maybe I do corn. Um, which takes longer to grow but ends up paying off a little bit more. Let's go ahead and do that. Now you can grow drugs. You can grow strawberries, which can be eaten raw. A um, little variety. There are some great mods out, out there that allow you to cook different, completely different kinds of meals, just to add more flavor, if you will. Um, let's go ahead and do corn. So that'll get keep people busy. Okay, so we got our fridges. Look at that. Oh, oh, 
struggling. Okay, so we're going to slow it down a little bit. We've got a lot of idle colonists, but th this is, I'm going to say this is easily solved in about two seconds. One, we said we are going to work on the dining room. We said we are going to work on the entertainment room. So, this is not going to look the best. You know, might as well just get all this done while we're here. Um, because I'm going to use some smooth natural floors intermixed, it's just going to look ugly. But um, I'm lazy, or I'm conservative in this example. So now, we know that's going to happen. Let's use these other floors that we were agreeing we were going to use to fill the other spots. So these are all the spots where there is not natural rock. So when we put all of this down, we're going to have nice floors there. Make sense? So that's a lot of work now. Nobody should be idle at this point. Jim's still hard at work cooking. I thought I allowed this. I did not. Uh, some planning that we're going to end up doing. These are done, but they have. Uh, we did not end up adding them to the um, power grid. So that will that will make that happen. In addition, we're going to run this power. we're going to need in a couple places. So we'll just run it up here for now. Everybody's gone to bed, which is fine. We had plenty of sandstone on hand, so that should be plenty to cover these floors. Not worried about that at all. The fridge is holding, but not by a lot. I'd really like to see it a lot better. It is now going to be very cold in here, though, when someone tries to, like, craft smoke smoke leaf joints. Um, this is going to be one of our storage places. We could actually set to start moving stuff over there. Um, it is certainly... It's getting to be where this will be more the center of our base, which is great. Um, and that means if we move some of these materials, will they be further away when we need to do something? Eh, questionable. We can actually start doing that while they are, they're going to be up and working soon. But we can start setting up individual, I may do that offline, but individual stockpiles so we can separate our stuff out. So we can like have, you know, stockpile with the wood and the steel. We can have a stockpile with like all clothing, um, you know, maybe our weapons in a stockpile, that type of a thing. Currently, I don't think it's too much of an issue just leaving it here for now until I can go get those set up and you know it, it takes a little clicking work and, and sort of just you know me figuring out what I want where so I will probably get that done a little bit later looks like Suki and Eiji who are two constructors are hard at work putting in the tile floor beautiful beautiful Dennis is doing a good job covering, making more stone blocks, which we will absolutely be using. Oh, look at that. Love that. Thanks, Rasta, for delivering that stone. Looks like all the corn got planted. Still holding at a negative one. So it looks like the cooler is working. I mean, this is a big, a pretty big space, and the, these are helping out. But it's through a vent. Um, you know, honestly, you probably only need one cooler to cool this. So, you know, it would maybe be more efficient to have the other cooler over, you know, like a third cooler over here. But it's fine. As long as it relatively holds, we're good. So the power line just got finished. That power line got finished, I think. We are down to nine components. Uh, that's a little bit concerning. 
We do have other components on the map. When we deconstruct something like this, that's going to give us. Let me go ahead and do that. You know, I did not realize, but do these? I don't think they decay. I think that's just when they crash, that's what they were. So it looks like now we have um, all the tile that we wanted to lay down in place, and now it's just merely a job of getting all this um, floor smooth. Um, but as you can see, EG's, EG's pretty quick, and Suki's not bad either, but EG is super, super, super quick. That, oh, that must have gotten deconstructed. That's how fast that happened. Uh, we are completely out of meat. Wow. Powers of observation. They could be better. What do you guys think? Another elephant? How about a age 41 elephant? The whole herd of elephants over there. Don't like them boomalopes. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's go get some meat, fellas. Suki's off to the hunt. Okay, so that got roofed. So I'm going to actually turn this on again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into Dennis's bedroom. Dennis now has a new bedroom. This will, now this could be a prisoner bedroom again, but we plan to move this stuff out. So as soon as I actually, oh, I might, maybe I'll move the lamp. Uh, we can always move the lamp later. Good job. Did Suki get it? Oh yeah, Suki got the elephant. Very nice. 300 meat, 339 meat. That'll last us for a good long while, so no worries. Oh, look at that. The entertainment room is done. So with that in mind, with the entertainment room being done, I want to show you guys our choices. I'm going to slow us down just a little bit. So, for Joy, we built a really cheap horseshoe pin early on. 15 wood. We could build a chess table. We could build a billiards table, which takes cloth and wood. At this point, we got plenty of cloth. Plenty of wood. We could build a poker table, same kind of cost. Water gazing spot, okay. Um, these are part of a mod. Archery target, shooting target, and martial arts target. So you could do melee, you know, bow, guns. And I consider these kind of um, important. Because not only do they give joy, but they give you um, shooting practice or melee practice, as an example. Um, which you get some of in this game, but, you know, only some of. So, unlike a lot of these other things that we do repetitively over and over and over again, like crafting and construction and mining and growing and cooking, you know, just to name a few, um, the chances to shoot and fight are a lot more farther uh, and more dangerous. So much more dangerous, excuse me. So I, I think the mod, um, again, some might consider um, maybe maybe makes it a little bit too easy or something like that. But I think that it's reasonably fair um, because of the, the southernness. Now, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and place one of these since it's only steel and cloth. Probably should have placed one earlier. But... The target dummy, so the, the, the square, is where people will stand when they're shooting. And they'll shoot at the target dummy. That means anyone in between or downrange, potentially, might get hit. So, ideally, you don't want animals over there. You don't want things that are going to get damaged, like real walls, where people are going to go, oh, I need to go repair that, and they'll go cross into the line of fire. So, like, natural cul-de-sacs, from my perspective, are the best. Um, so, like, if I was going to turn this around, as an example, and I was going to put it, like, here, that's, that's reasonable. Um, 
and then if I make the animal zone not allowed to be in there, that's even more reasonable. Because then the only reason people are going to go over here is because they're, you know, trying to chop wood. Now, similarly, I could do it here. Right? That's pretty good. You know, why are people going to come over here? They shouldn't, really. I mean, I'd have to fire so poorly for that to happen. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll get that built. And uh, while I'm there, I can do clear out area. And I can sit there and say, okay, so Animal Alamo. This is no longer part of the Animal Alamo. You will not come over here. In addition, though, Animal No Crops. Oh, we don't want to expand. We want to clear. And this is now somewhere where you will never go. Um, now, if you have them on an unrestricted, which I have the dog on, this is still potentially a problem. We'll see what happens. It's probably going to be fine. Uh, in addition, though, since we were originally starting this conversation, why don't we put in a nice little billiards table in our entertainment room? In addition, if we ever get roofs? Probably should get roofs. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and build roofing over all of this. Okay, that's fine. In addition, let's get doors in. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. In addition to that, well, let's... Should we build the poker table? No, let's just get this done first. Then we'll get the dining table in. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. Got plenty of smoke leaf joints for people who are, you know, feeling a little bit down. Just want a little picker-upper. Definitely need to get a better dining table. That's where we're headed. Dennis is still working those rocks. Ah, here goes the roof. We're actually going to go ahead and extend the power because we're going to need it at the very least, I think, down across here. Let's just do that. So... This place doesn't have any air conditioning right now. And we could do the same thing we've done where we build like a unit, but that's unprotected, right? Build a little wall thing like we did down here. Um, my eventual plans, which is a horrible plan, but I'm probably going to do it anyway, is to air condition the halls and, you know, sort of try and uh, use that to sort of keep the base sort of air conditioned. Um, I'm going to flag all these doors to be held open. This will save people time, and all it does is it distinguishes one room for another. So this is now counts as a rec room. Somewhat impressive already, because it's got a superior billiards table, plus it's got the nice floors. So, um, you know, it's a good start. Let's go ahead and, well, we are really... Oh, we got more components. I don't know where they... Oh, I wonder if they came... We have an idle colonist. Doesn't seem right. Oh, you know why? Oh, that's really great. I can't believe it. Oh, let's not stop. I'm thinking about... Let's go get the cooler. We want these rooms. They don't have to be super, super cool. But... Let's get it done. Um, one. Let's go zone. Let's delete it. We're going to put it here. I don't know if that got deleted or not. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's fine. They can move that stuff. Okay. 
temperature cooler. There you go. Which also means we're probably going to need to run power up here. Which, again, I have no issue with. Power. It's okay to have some redundancy. Looks like Suki's just finishing up the floor. With that in mind, let's get a... You know, the 3x3 is a big table. The 2x4... In the Furniture Plus, there are only the little tables and things like that. But, let's go with the... I don't like the 3x3 three three and the 2x2. Two two. Well, 2x2 two is okay. But, how about the 2x4? That seems like a nice, big table. Plenty of room. Plenty of opportunities for seats. In addition, now that we're sitting on lots of wood, let's build some nice chairs. I'd like to see these just moved out of the way. Great, great. How are we doing now with steel? I know we had a lot. Oh, good, good, good. Healthy amount. Suki's going to finish the cooler. Let's go ahead and just, we'll crank it down like a degree or two. Because it's going to be trying to do, since through these open doors, it's going to be trying to cool way more than it should. But it's just more to try and mitigate the outside than, you know, keep it super cool. So it looks like we've got some chairs coming, a normal, an excellent, a superior. So you can see that's, that, that practice and skill is paying off. What we really need in here, though, also now is lamps, right? We need some lamps. So put one here. Let's put one right here. And honestly, at this point, we probably need one in the hallway. Uh, we haven't roofed this. I plan to, but um, that actually might be a problem. We're actually okay without a light here yet until we end up roofing the hallways. Okay. So, for tomorrow, he's going to finish up this. We're doing fine on food. Let's see what else we got going on here. Did we? Oh, we created our little target dummy. That's good. Looks like we've got a lot more. Um, probably need some sandstone for floors, but um, actually, we still have a lot of floor in our base except for like hallways here, that are going to be natural. So really, this other stuff's great. Yeah, uh, it's we're, we're very close to moving this stuff, building a research, maybe building our workroom. Um, wow, a lot of stuff has come together very quickly here uh, after a lot of prep work. So and that's sometimes how it goes. just depends on, you know, what's up. So Rasta is up doing some cleaning in the morning. Love that, Rasta. Thank you very much. How's our wood? Been bit monitoring that wonderful wood of ours. Oh my goodness! Did we really run ourselves out of wood? I think we did. 
I, I must have thought a thousand wood would last me forever or something silly like that. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> how quickly the tables turn when you're not watching. Especially with us, you know. I mean, mind you, I'm sure some things like this have grown, but I really don't want to go out. Um, yeah, and that that horrible hauling experience that we experienced um, at the beginning when we first started. So I'm probably just going to, you know, be a little bit more conservative on the wood for a little while. Um, I may do it because I want to build some things like the research table and stuff that may involve wood. But I just built a bunch of these, so it's not a problem. It's a very impressive. So we're good. We have a dining room now. So guess what's going to happen? This is actually slightly impressive because of the floor. We got lights in now. What I want to do is I want to show you guys the fridge. So this has a spot, or this has a spot. This has two spots. Takes more steel, and then this one has four spots. So this costs double that one. But um, I'm just gonna put this puppy in right here. so that we can get meals closer to the dining table. Rasta is going to light up. Ah, Rasta didn't have anything to do for a little while. That's interesting. Well, I guess we're getting mostly done. So, and I don't mean done done, but with the stuff I had queued up. So if I actually look at floors, I can go ahead and say, hey, you know what? Let's just finish these off real quick. And then what I'd also like to do, I know this is a lot of work, I'd like to see this smooth. It's going to get traveled a lot. We can even smooth it all the way down to there. Okay, so now we got a fridge. So we can set it to have food items and other items, corpses. I've never really tried that. But really what we want in here, we're just going to go ahead and put the fine meals, lavish meals. We're going to put any of that, and its priority is naturally set higher. So now what's going to happen is, folks are going to bring, hopefully, these meals over and stuff them in this fridge. There we go. And as you can see, you can set, or, um, you can set temperature, just like a cooler. Um, and it will um, attempt to reach that. Really sure why the okay. Hopefully the temperature works real hard. Good. It should get down it because in theory it's only cool in a couple spaces. I've just never watched it from the very beginning before, so um, that's fine. Now what we can do if we want is we can actually flag this to be. I'm actually see Suki's using it as a table. They're going to use this unless you mark it or you. Market as a non-gather spot, or if you um, not disassemble it, but you um, uninstall it so that it ends up getting put in storage. Um, I don't mind having the extra table. I mean, this isn't a bad dining room, um, but this one will be getting moved. I'm, I'm actually going to be moving it into... I was thinking one of these rooms is a prisoner room. We could use this. There's no reason why we can't use this, so let's let's get that done now. So we're going to reinstall it in here. Um, hopefully this works. I don't know if it'll work or not. It's a poor chair. I don't really care. Put that there. We don't have enough wood to make any, any new thing. So, hey, someone sheared the alpaca. We have some alpaca wool. Okay. That'll go in this big pile of storage that we have. Great, great, great. I am now actually going to... You're just going to go to work over there. There's a lot of smoothing to be done. I know Suki's going to do that as well. Rasta's got cleaning to do. Ah, uh, Suki's got some... Uh, items to harvest. Good. 
There is definitely something I want to get done here. I want to get this moved. And we're going to just... We're not looking for any upgrades. We're just going to do the same thing we did over here. Beautiful. So we now are going to have another bedroom. Now this is going to become the prisoner bedroom. And this we are going to reinstall down here. I'll show you why. Let's go take a look here and see if... Oh, bummer. Okay, so we... Colonist needs treatment. Disease gut worms. Sukiana has gotten sick from gut worms. The infection is in her stomach. Make sure you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure Sukiana gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible. So we don't have a medical bed. We can flag a bed as a medical bed, but Sukihana will also rest in her own bed. Um, that's what will naturally happen. Now, this gut worm disease, which we'll take a quick look at, it's going to increase the pain. It's going to make them eat a lot, 100%. And you, someone else can treat it with medicine, um, but that will allow Sukihana to like get up and do stuff. But at the end of the day, this disease just needs to run its course, is really what ends up happening. So we'll use lots of medication. Luckily, we've had a, at least one harvest, um, and uh, we're, you know, growing some more. And wow, I would have thought we would have actually had more than that. Wow, after that corn harvest is done again, maybe. It's tough. I mean, I could, I could lessen up the cotton. I think the food's really... Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just set this to be, actually we'll set this one to be, and we'll do another, um, what do you call it, heel root. So, hopefully, hello, um, someone, Horton. How about EG? Deal with this. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, that is these fridges. That's another good use for them that you'll see me do later on. Um, when we turn this into our hospital, um, I will probably put, because it'll have like hospital beds as an example, I'll put a little fridge in here, a smaller one, and I can put medicine in it. Um, particularly medicines like the herbals that um, would slowly decay if they weren't cooled or frozen, if you will. So we're doing fine. It looks like... It looks like when everything is down, we have enough stuff at this point that we're actually draining the batteries at uh, a rate faster than I would like um, during the night, which means we need more batteries. Um, and it would be nice to have something that constantly produces power. Um, there is a wood-fueled stove, not a stove, but generator, that we could build, but that takes wood, and that is not something that we have. But it can, we could like turn it on and off, use it for emergencies. Um, there is also the, the uh, thermal or uh, geothermal. The issue is this takes technology, um, but this will eventually be in use. It will be a wonderful thing, and we will love our lives. Uh, when we have it. But until then, we probably just need some more batteries so we can fill them so that that way, at night, um, you know, we're okay. So, with that in mind, we're going to do two things. I'm going to build another battery. We're going to build two other batteries. So first thing I'm going to do, construct that. Rost is cleaning up. I don't know what the alpaca is doing in there. Good, good, good. Then we can build another copy here. Good. We'll just allow those to juice up. So now we're starting to definitely get lower on components. We're also using up a good deal of our steel. But that is what it's there for. Um, we were going to 
look at finally maybe but of course we won't have wood will we we need 75 wood to build the simple research station okay fellas how close are we not close enough so you know what that means keep it close to home do this we're gonna flag you for hunting because you're close so we're gonna get that wood because they're gonna try and build this chair too um, I could always put that on hold but wow we really did a good job of deforesting I'm so proud of our folks I'm, I'm saying that kind of jokingly but kind of not Well, that's 25. 25. That would be enough if we weren't building this chair. So I will forbid the chair. And uh, let's let's go at least set it down. And see what happens. Right here. And we're gonna need a nice chair because whoever sits there is gonna be there a lot. There, how about a good one? We will reinstall you right here. You're gonna spend a lot of time there. I like to unflag this as a gather spot. We must just be short. Come on now. Hey, where's the wood? Must have used it for something else. I don't know. It's certainly not in there. So let's chop you. On. Nine to a guy who needs some wood. Wow. That's it. There you go. Okay, and for insurance, done. Okay, well, oh my goodness. A group of mechanoids from a mechanoid hive have dropped in right on top of you. They are attacking immediately. Okay, it appears that the drop pods, oh, there it is. Um, I hope, I paused. And I hope that enough time had executed that all the drop pods appeared on the screen. Because if I unpause and more come, then we could really be in not wonderful lives. Now, right now it looks like it's one. Now, this could be a caterpillar. It could be, well, we'll find out. But basically, this is a definite all-hands-on-deck situation. We are going to draft everybody. We're going to try and use hallways, but... They're in a place Dennis is in of, of particular concern. He's going to be the first person to engage. And um, I'm tempted to... I don't know. Let's get Suki down here. Rost has got the short bow. EG's got the rifle. We don't have a way in here. Um... But, well, okay, so everybody's kind of headed in. Dennis, I think we want to pull Dennis out. Because we don't know. We want to... Oh, 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 complete rechange. <laughs> yeah, Dennis is... Okay, so they're going to actually land outside our base, it looks like. Um, this will be interesting because then the question will be, will they come all the way around or will they just immediately... But let's send EG down here. We're going to send Jem down here. We will continue to send Rasta 
here. And Dennis, why don't you just hold for a second? Everybody, let's go. Okay. So, they may come all the way around. So, this may work out in our favor. Uh, so, Scythers are super, super quick. Has a charge lance. Um, uh, it, it does a, a, a tremendous amount of damage. Um, can blow arms off and, and other horrible things. Okay, it's going around. So, everybody, let's get up to our defensive spots. Now, it may not make it through all the traps, which would be a great thing. Um, but, in case it does, let's get everybody lined up, um, you know, in spots. Oh. And we can, well... Okay, so EG's going to take here. Suki's got a revolver, that's fine. Rost has got the short bow, why don't you go here? And Dennis. There you go. Okay. Now, hopefully the trap... Oh, okay. So, I was a little dramatic. But what I thought was going to happen was the drop pod was going to crash your roof. It can absolutely or land in our unroofed section of our base. None of the traps are there, right? It would just immediately start attacking people, start destroying things, and so we were going to have to peek around corners. That will happen later. I'm actually surprised that we already had, a, it was a very low number, but that we had a mechanoid, um, you know, drop assault, so to speak. Um, it is, I'm pretty sure, dead dead. Yep, its head got shattered. Those steel traps are very, very nice. So we are going to release everybody but with that in mind, I do want you to haul this sucker. Okay. Fabulous job. Out. It could have gone all wrong, and it went all right. Now, our fridge looks a lot more empty. And, oh, good. Oh, it's raining. Um, but our fridge looks a lot more empty, but that's because we've moved all these meals. Well, I hope that's the only reason. But, yes. I moved all these meals over here. Um, so hopefully that's a big plus. Hopefully we can go get that wood tomorrow. Um, I am just thankful that that appeared to have worked out. Okay. So at this point, as far as stones go, we got a lot for walls. And after this research station gets built, we need to move our work 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 stuff over in this section and we probably need to move our storage so the next thing I will absolutely be doing is using a lot of these stones to one build out this this will be for future expansion so I'm not too worried about that um, and we may start up here and we're gonna start researching our little booty but butts off wow I don't know why I had such difficulty saying that Rasta's cleaning up thank you Rasta Good morning to you. Loving it, loving it. I'm curious, Gem was the jealous sort. Oh, okay, okay, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty happy, Rost is gonna make some meals. Hopefully someone takes care of, well, I forgot this is now full fridge, and it's holding reasonably well, so. I think what I may do is I may flag some of these other stones just to get dragged into the pile. It'll only be when people have nothing else better to do. Like the dog, as an example. Great, someone took care of the ostrich. Sorry about that. Okay. Doing real good. Sukihana's having a little smoke. It was the wood that I was waiting for, folks. 
So here comes some more. That may not be enough. We got 50 in the stockpile. And, oh, that should be enough. Someone just needs to go take care of the work. Where are we good to go? Oh, there it is. So, um, I pause real quick because I'm just i going to show you real quick the research. Well, I'll keep it on single speed. So this is the research tree. We haven't really looked at this because we didn't have the research station up yet. Now we do, so we're going to be assigning someone. We're going to pick some research to go after. So it's very likely, I'll, I'll think about this before next episode, but some of the critical initial stuff that we look for is we look to get up to microelectronics basics. Uh, we want to build a more advanced um, research station and that that there are a couple precursors so that'll take us through those um, we also potentially want to look at gun turrets that'll help us with defense geothermal power we talked about that uh, this this would be definitely a good one to get to the hospital beds and um, then we have some other stuff down here the cremation we talked about in an earlier episode um, this is a mod, carpet making. I love this, it just helps cleaning a little bit more. So I will definitely go after that. Um, I tend to go after it somewhat early on, um, not immediately. And then there's things like making your own medication, and there's doing drugs if you're, you know, like our drug lord may, may say that that may be a good way for us to get some funds to do, you know, to fund our escape. So we'll take a look at this, we'll set it up um, next time, and I'll, I'll discuss it with you guys. Um, we will get someone assigned to research. I'm going to actually go turn this on so that way that one battery will end up charging up. Um, what else? We will get working on those things that we discussed and hopefully we'll start getting some more wood in um, from you know the standard normal harvests again um, which will help us out. Other than that we're looking pretty good. Managed to fend off that surprise raid. And we're doing fine for food. We're doing fine for stones. We got some happy joy drugs. So I'm um, pretty happy with our progress. We can actually also, we, we might work on these hallways, um, which would be a good thing, and smoothing additional floors. With that in mind, why don't we go ahead and set up a little bit more of that smoothing. This is going to be a hallway. So we can go ahead and smooth all the way down there. Smooth at least up to that point. Why don't we get all of this smooth? Yeah, that's looking great. That'll give some folks some stuff to do so we don't have to worry about that. And let's check one more time on our intrepid Sukihana who has the gut worms. So, stoned on smoke leaf, helping deal with the pain from the gut worms. Seems appropriate, right? Suki's now out, even with the gut worms, out working. All this looks good. We hauled almost all those stones in. Fiji's also smoothing. How much sandstone do we have? 205. So, remember how we made the floor? Oh no. How did that happen? Rasta. Really? So, Rasta's broke again and is going to start setting fires. I don't even know where Rasta is. Okay, Rasta's out there. <sighs> it is raining. That's a plus. But if she sets fires inside, well, then, you know, we're going to have to follow her around and, you know, put them out. I really don't understand. Rasta's breakpoint is higher than I would expect. Maybe it's not even... She may not have even broke. Um, it just may have been, you know, pyromaniacs, apparently. They're pyromaniacs. So... Um, yeah. Remind me to use her. For, I mean, Rasta. 
can you go out in front of the guns? Oh, I mean, no. That's mean. That's bad, right? Well, hopefully she'll break here. It is getting to be the evening. People are going to be going to bed. Still doing great work, it looks like. So, at this point, what you're seeing is Jem is taking, uh, whoever's cooking is taking these meals all the way in. We're going to change that at this point. We're going to just drop it on the floor. I do it when they're doing the fridge because they have to get new materials for the next meal. But at this point, it's going to make meals drop it on the floor. We're going to have, hopefully, someone else haul it in. Rasta, I just don't know what to do with you. No way. No way. No, 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 no. This isn't roofed. That's pretty funny. The rain's putting that out, too. Okay. I think Rasta has finally stopped the spree. And hopefully Rasta will be going to bed. And so this is a perfect time for us to call it an episode. Again, we've got lots of stuff planned for next time. We've got this beautiful rain going on. But I do want to thank everybody for watching, and we will definitely see you next time.